All right, here we go, guys. Sunday, June 5th. Got Todd Mann, Long Island Lethals with me. Early in the morning, uh, what time? 5.58, 6 a.m. We had the Billies by the Bay fluke tournament yesterday, and we are going striped bass fishing today. We're gonna be uh, doing two different styles, should be interesting. I'm doing the traditional uh, three-way bucktailing with, uh, we're fishing an area with big rips known as the race. Todd's gonna just uh, go with a heavy bucktail, no weight. Let's see how we do. We'll check back in in a little bit. You're just looking to kick my ass. No, I, <laughs> I've seen that work, Todd. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that might be a new style I start so using. Mark, after that video I did, Mark went to, uh, Jessup switched over to the bucktail and got a 40 a 42 inch of that. Wow. All right. That style definitely works. I was surprised. We shall see. And that style definitely works is the understatement of a year. And there I am with Todd Mann, Long Island Lethals. I'll have a video link in the description to a video he put out of this trip a couple weeks back. Uh, Please subscribe to his channel too. A lot of great content on that channel. Uh, we're fishing an area, like we said, called the Race. It's a, a body of water between Fisher's Island all the way to the east, eastern part of Long Island on the north side, and Little Gull Island. It, it's a few mile stretch and uh, really a, a bunch of bodies of water empty through there, pass through there. And it goes from very deep to very shallow. And consequently, you get these mammoth rips, although they weren't that bad today. And we're, you actually see the boat driving out of them here, this shot. And we're going to set up anywhere from 70 feet to sometimes 120 feet. And we drip up a slope and the, the current really builds as we get closer to that rip where the water is shallower and turns into a washing machine. And there were times today we were going over five miles an hour. The slow side was three miles an hour. Uh, I'm using like... like like we were talking about there in the intro, a three-way rig, a three-way swivel with one line connected to your main line, a short 12-inch uh, line connected to a weight. In my case today, I was using 14 to 20 ounces, not an exaggeration, 14 to 20 ounces to hold bottom, and you'll see the tangles. That, that was the big, big uh, reason I didn't catch that many fish on this trip, or quite exactly one fish on this trip. And Todd is just using a single... SNS six ounce John Skinner bucktail and wow wow you'll see how he did now the first fish though the first fish he did drop with the single bucktail uh, he almost gave up he thought the current was a little too strong he switched to one of the rods I brought that was set up with a three-way rig on it already and his new PB you'll see it here caught on a three-way every fish after that he caught on the single bucktail but this very first fish coming up caught on a three-way swivel 115, 113, 112. Oh, going down much straighter. Yeah, it's definitely your side to drop. I'm gonna come around the engines. 107. This drag is probably set, right? Yeah, it should be. Let me just back this up a little. Get away from Brooklyn Girl. Just give him some more room. Came way too close. Come on. There you go, Todd. Coming up to get the net. Good one? Nice. Nice. Nice and easy. That might be a blue the way it's running. 
bopping. I don't know. It's got the good, okay. bo good bops. Good bops? Yeah, it's not going out yet. It's starting to. It seems like you're right. That's uh, that's my crafty one custom like rod. Uh, some fish. Oh yeah. Dude. Oh my John, goodness, John is dude! Look at that. PB, dude. Yeah, uh, per personal bass. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, dude, that's a beautiful bass. Bring it here. It's a nice. Look at this fish. Damn. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Dude. Come John. Holy cow. 40 plus inches. Dude, my PB buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Holy that crap. I gotta take a photo with that thing. Dude. Yeah, let's take a photo and release. And yeah, that was a new personal best for Todd, and it would be the first of two personal bests today. And you'll, you'll see Todd posing with the picture, with the fish here in this picture. And uh, yeah, that was going to be the last time Todd used the three-way swivel, uh, the three-way method of bucktailing. Uh, after that, he went to the single bucktail with a six-ounce Skinner bucktail, and he did fantastic. A real eye-opener, as I said in the beginning. And uh, yeah, you learn something new every day when you're fishing. Avi. Oh, nice. All right, I'm coming up. Not big. Oh, that's awesome, though. This is going to be the Todd Man Show. You got the 50 pound leader on? Yeah. All right. Oh, I got tangled, damn it. We'll handle the fish. Yeah, little guy. Little guy. I mean, not a bad fish, but not it, nothing compared to the other one. Oh, yeah. This might even be a slot fish. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, just, we're not keeping any fish, under. so. Yeah, no. Nah. Maybe 27. Yeah, yeah. You want me to him? I got him. I'm going to give him. And you saw right there one of the pitfalls of using a three-way, the tangling. I had changed the leader to it to avoid that because it happened once on an earlier drift, yet it happened again. And yeah, I, I, the bigger your three-way swivel, the less likelihood you'll have of tangling. I didn't have the biggest possible on. I didn't have any more of them. Um, lesson learned, if we're gonna do this style of fishing, go as big as you can on those three-way swivels and make sure your leader is nice and straight, not frayed up. That's a fish. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Well, I'm glad I, I asked you to come. Otherwise, I'd have no content. None. Zero. Little guy? Yeah. You know what? Swing him in. I'm going to drop again. I think uh, that's the thing. I think. Yeah, you can handle this guy. Ah, oh, but I, it's a good thing I brought up. I got tangled again. And this time on the uh, mano to mano. Yeah, so I'm untangling here. Uh, we just set up another drift. And guess who's on again? He's about to get thrown off the boat. <laughs> I'll give you a hand with that. Uh, I got tangled on myself again. And we're almost out here. Where, yeah, where do we got? I'll bring the this is the okay. Oh, he's like the first uh, schoolie here. Close, 26 maybe. Not bad. He's barely hooked. I could probably just, uh, you yeah. know what, we'll do it the right way. All right, buddy. Whoop. Sweet. Not a bad fish, Todd. Nice yeah. fish. All right, buddy. There you go. Good job. I just want to catch one fish. I don't care if it's five inches. Just one. 102 already. Jeez. Right away. Wow. It's a good one. Yeah? Yeah. Get me on the way down. Uh, maybe a blue? No. I'm coming up. Okay, okay. I can't even get to the bottom with you catching a fish. I'm blaming you for my uh, terrible trip today. Ah. And I got tangled on the way down. You want a net for this one? This one might need a net. It might probably, probably Let's see it first. So that's right here. We're not going to lose them. You got them hooked. 
If it hit you on the way down, I know you're, it's fighting like- As soon like as I touch bottom. Okay. All right. Oh, as soon as you touch bottom. Okay. Yep. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know if that's a, I don't know if that's a bass. Feels like a bass. No, not, not yeah, chasing dude, you around. Dude, it's a good, oh, that's a big blue. Right? Yeah. A gator. Not chasing you around the boat like that. Dude, that's a gator blue. I got the D hooker here. I don't want to go near that thing, dude. I don't know. You don't worry about that's it. Yeah, that's a 15. That's, that's my PB blue. Are you kidding? Yeah, that's two PBs in one day, John. Dude. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, it's okay. That one. Yeah, it is. That's a huge blue. Oh, my God, bro. That thing had to be an 18 pounder, 20 pounder. Ah, 15. 15? 15. Oh, this rod. Wow, dude. Okay. I'm not helping you. I, and I, in fact, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> what is this like your seventh fish? I haven't caught one yet. It's all right. That's a bass. All right, hold on. I'm going to come up and help. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. The line is probably all tangled anyway. You might beat me up. Yep, I'm tangled. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the blues might be, uh, with the sun coming up a little, they might be a little more prevalent now. Let's see, it still could be a bass. Yeah. It's a bass, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, it's a nice, look. Oh, wow, a blue with him. A blue chasing him. That's a keeper, that's a slot fish. Yeah. We're not gonna net him. Swim around. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I just need to. Got him. Yeah, definitely. Slack it off a little so we don't break yep. the rod. Gotcha. Roger, Roger. The 32 inch fish. That's a nice, easy release. Look at this. Want to take another picture? Sure. And we'll end the trip with one more fish caught by shockingly, surprisingly, amazingly caught by me. Um, yeah, all I can say is I've used Todd's technique on my very next striper trip with Skinner. I'll have that video out in the future, and it does work, and I'm a firm believer after this trip. Can I even catch a fish today? That's going to be the the, uh, the goal. We might just stop at uh, in Greenport in town so I can catch a sea robin, if you make myself feel better. Hundred fifteen. Well, I'm hitting bottom easy with this rod. The line is thinner, so less weight, and I'm not scoping. I really got to change the line on that rod. That that rod was really designed for Montauk with lighter weights, but uh, bigger fish and uh. Oh, I'm on! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> this is unbelievable. I can't. No. No. I will handle this fish and let you catch your 28th fish of the day compared to the one I finally caught. This feels like a bass though, at least. But it's it's not going to win any contests. Got a little weight, actually. Ooh. Dude, that's a good one. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, it's a good one. It'll pass. It'll be a keeper. Now I'm going to tighten it up a little again. You know, bringing them up from almost 100 feet too. Take and drag again. All right.
Eh, not that good. It's a keeper. And I was tangled again, believe it or not. It's like the one you just caught. 30 inch fish, maybe a, a hair shorter than yours, but. Oh. Oh, it's yeah. Shoulders. Yeah. It's a nice slot fish. Yeah, it's definitely a slot fish. If we were keeping fish, this would be one to keep. And look, I was tangled. Wow. <laughs> and I still. I Hope you enjoyed this video and that contrast in styles. Remember to check out Todd's video again, a link in the description. As always, if you do like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing.